Hello, good morning. Hi, everyone. Morning. Morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining. We are just going to give a minute or two good for morning. everybody to join us. Morning. Thank you for being here this morning. Great. While well, everybody joins us, I would just like to say welcome to PKF. Uh, my name is Mareka and I will be your host this morning. So just a few housekeeping rules. If you can please keep yourself muted and video off until the end. Any questions, please type your questions in the chat and we will get to them at our Q&A section at the end. Hopefully we can answer all of your questions um, and at the end we would like to have a nice chat with everybody. If there's anything you don't know after this webinar, feel free to chat with us on um, the virtual expo platform. Um, we will be there today and tomorrow and if there's anything else you might still be missing and still wanting to contact us, please feel free to do so with the contact details we will be sharing at the end of this webinar. Great, just gonna give another minute or two for anybody, there's still a few guys trying to join us. Good morning. Dokes. All right, I think, I think everybody might be here. Great, guys. So welcome to PKF. Let's hit the ground running. So PKF, who is PKF? We are a global network of independent firms across the world. We, have a, we are in about 150 countries, over 20,000 staff, and close to 500 firms across the globe. We have um, been nominated in the top 14 accounting um, networks globally, which is amazing. And a little later, we'll be talking to you about our worldwide PKF Go Economy opportunities. I know you guys are very excited about that. So why PKF? So PKF is a global family of legally independent firms, and we provide world-class analysis and clear solutions. We give our clients and trainees direct access to our decision makers of our firm, and we adhere to global quality standards. What really sets us apart is the emphasis we place on listening to our clients' unique circumstances, as not one is the same. We provide both the local perspective and the global reach with easy to follow recommendations every step of the way. But what does PKF in South Africa do? So in South Africa, we are just over a thousand employees in five different provinces. And right now we are nine firms. That's close to 70 partners and directors and over 400 accounting trainees, quite a lot. So together we are a national team who fully embrace and live out our values. We offer secondment opportunities after your traineeship contract to our worldwide network of firms. Our constant training and development include conferences away and at our office. Hi there. Happy for you to turn off your camera and your, and your mic. If you have any questions, please add them in our chat. Thank you so much for joining us. Cool. And we have a diverse set of clients to easily complete your competency hours for Psyker or Cyper. We help our clients find the right solutions quickly and effectively. So these values I've mentioned, they are the standards that our network of individual firms wishes to be recognized for. We display these values constantly in our daily interactions with our clients and with each other. On our live chat, we've had... Um, the students ask us, what do you need besides your qualification? And these are some of the things we would like each individual at PKF um, to have. Teamwork, passion, quality in your work, integrity, and clarity. These are just some of our PKF values. So let's look at our inside. Right now, we have um, our recently appointed CEO, Candice Unsworth, who heads PKF in South Africa, and her right-hand man right now is Butch Abbott. 
who is our COO. Where are we located? So our nine firms are across our five provinces. We have a firm in PKF Cape Town, Tiger Valley. That's where I'm sitting right now, nice and cold here today. And we also have PKF Constantia Valley in Cape Town. We've got PKF Durban in Umschlange, PKF George, PKF Octagon in Waverley, Johannesburg, PKF Port Elizabeth, PKF Pretoria, PKF VGA in Alberton, and PKF in Balcom. So that is our firms across South Africa. So what article types do we offer at PKF? Some of our firms offer cyber articles, including our Durban, PE, VGA, and George offices. And then all of our offices offer SICA articles. This is usually over three years. Some of our um, offices also uh, offer that over five years. So what do you need to have at PKF to be able to join us as a SICA or a SICA trainee? So we would consider you for SICA if you have your BCom or BCom in accounting. And SICA, anything equivalent to CTA. So that's usually your PGDA or PG Dip in accounting. Hello. Hi there. You can mute yourself, please. All questions you can leave in, your ch in the chat and we will have a chat with you afterwards. Great. Okay, so SICA, anything equivalent to your CTA. So all of the universities name it different things, but it's basically your CTA equivalent, PGDA or PG Dip in accounting, or your BCom honors in accounting. Okay, so what is your training contract? So this is a three or five year learnership contract accredited by Psycho Cyper, and your training contract is seen as your practical component towards becoming a CASA. This is where you will apply the knowledge you have gained in your undergrad or CTA studies. And at PKF, our learning and development is very important to us. In your first week at PKF, you will attend a freshers course. This is a training course to gear you for the start of your articles. It's very intense and I promise you're going to love it. Throughout your three or five years at, at PKF, you will attend monthly training sessions for constant learning and development of new skills. This also includes two weeks of audit training. You will have, always have a second or third year trainee as well as a manager to assist and teach you any new task or procedures along the way. Our secondment opportunities, which is usually the most exciting part. So after your three or five years articles at PKF, you have the opportunity to join our worldwide network of firms, which include PKF across the globe, globe KPMG and BDO. Usually this will be a four, six or 12 month contract with any of these firms and us at PKF will help assist in that matter. However, you will need to have complete your articles, completed your articles to be able to, to join our network of firms abroad. So this is a little bit of feedback from some of our guys who have done their articles at PKF and went on our secondment program, Cora Ambrose was at EY London in 2020, completed her articles in 2018 at PKF in Cape Town. And she says living in London is thrilling and exciting, but you will have challenges, but you will be challenged into growth. Applying overseas isn't a guaranteed job. You will go through grueling interviews and checks, but it's all worth it in the end. PKF taught me the resilience I needed for this journey. Amazing. Then we have Kirby and Hayden. Um, they were a couple doing their articles PK, at PKF in Durban in 2019. And you can have a little bit of a read what they've said for all their experience at PKF Little John. Hayden says, my London experience at PKF Little John blew me away. The learning opportunity was amazing and working with people from different parts of the world was exciting. Just a little bit of a taste of our secondment opportunities. Cool, getting into the nitty gritty of things, exams and courses. So at PKF, we have a pass and payback system for your first attempt at any exam or course. So for ITC, which you usually write in your first year, also known as board one, for Psyche or your APC, usually in your second year or your board two exam, we will pay for your first attempt. Um, and then also your board course for any of, of, of the exams. And we also cover your Psyche and Urba yearly fees. This is just our governing bodies. 
leave days, always a very big, big question. So PKF leave, poli leave policies differ a little bit from firm to firm, but on a basis, you usually get 15 yearly leave days, 10 study days for ITC, and 12 days for APC and your board course. Obviously, on top of that, unpaid leave does qualify, to be, does qualify you to be used for study leave if that is approved by your manager and partner. All right, so who is our ideal candidate? Hopefully, you have attempted your CTA at least once if you're applying for PSYCHO. Honest, well-spoken, passionate team players that has integrity and loyalty, and of course, somebody who's willing to learn and grow. Now the fun part. This is our usual FAQs that we might get. So we are going to ask some of our member firms to answer this fast. So what will happen if I fail a year? Bridget from our PKF office at um, Octagon, please could you tell us what happens if I fail a year? Just unmute yourself there, Bridget. Okay, no stress, Bridget. I will answer this question. So what happens if I fail a year? So firstly, your question would be, what happens if I fail a year when I sign with PKF and I, for example, don't make my PGTA or my PG tip or CTA? Bridget, are you there? Sorry, I couldn't unmute myself. Thank you so there much. There we go. Okay, you can take the question. <laughs> um, hi, everyone. I hope you're finding this session informative. Um, so what happens if you fail a year? So at PKF, uh, we normally look at an individual as an all-round person. We don't necessarily just look at you as an, as an academic. Preferably, if you pass, that's great. It makes things easier. But if there is a year that you do struggle for whatever reasons, we do understand that we're human. Um, we will have that conversation. So we'll, it will be more of a case-by-case -case situation. Um, so we still would consider your application as long as you have been consistent through high school up to uni and that particular year you struggle with something. Great, thank you so much, Bridget. I mean, we know that life happens, COVID has showed us that, so we definitely invest in individuals. And Bridget, while I have you here, can a student work and study? Um, yes, we've had cases where people do take, sorry, someone's unmuted. Sorry, can you just mute yourself, please? Thank you. Go ahead, Bridget. Um, so yes, we've had uh, situations where we've had people come in um, who have unfortunately maybe failed their CTA and they do come in and they're like, you know, I do want to do my articles as well as uh, do my honours. So if you're brave enough to take on those two challenges, definitely be welcome to. Great. Thanks, Bridget. Usually those options are work and study, then you study, finish your um, study year through a UNISA or a Mill Park or the likes. Great. Thanks so much, Bridget. Then a question we usually get, which courses do I need to have completed before starting? Ali, are you there? Can you maybe answer this question for us? Which courses does a student need to have before starting with us? Do they need to have pastel, sage, certificates, anything like that? Whoops, I'm able to hear you there, Ali. Can you try again? Do the trick. There um, we go. Awesome. So you don't need to have done any of these courses. We're very aware that when you come to us in first year that um, some guys might have, some might not have. Um, but we also big believers that um, any learning is good learning. So if you have the time and you'd like to do Pastel and Sage, that's fantastic. It's gross for you. Um, but if you don't get around to doing it or you haven't had that opportunity, it's definitely not something that's going to um, deter your chances. Great. Thank you so much, Ali. Um, then I think I will take the next question. What assistance is given for PSYCA exams? So this is for any of exams. So even if you are applying for PSYCA as well, I know there's a few questions in the chat at Pika if we only offer PSYCA and PSYCA traineeships. So what assistance is given for these exams beforehand? So obviously, um, as a group, when you are writing in terms of your, your the trainees with you, we always try to help um, in terms of doing study groups, all of those types of things. We try to help in terms of payment for these exams. Um, and then as PKF as a whole, we have training sessions um, with our trainees. So in terms of the assistance we we 
provide for any of the exams. We have our students, for example, come in super early. They do study groups. If there's any questions, you know, we give them an hour or two to talk to some of our um, our managers or partners to ask specific questions. And we also do forums with the likes of um, Psyche and Cyper to, to assist with that. Great. Ali, while I have you here, what do you look for in a CV? I know you get hundreds hundreds of CVs. So what do you usually look for? Yes, we do. So I think the question that everyone always asks is how can they make their CV stand out? So um, just a few points that come to top of mind for me. Um, maybe Renee can also chime in afterwards but for me um, I don't think your CV should ever be longer than two pages if it can be one page that's super ideal because then I'm going to get to see all the fabulous things that you have to say just in one page um, I think we always look for someone who um, has done something else and when I mean that I just mean that maybe you know you were a prefect at school or maybe you have some work experience being a waitress just something else that gives a little bit more depth to your CV um I think Marika might have put this on the next slide or coming up but um we always say please send us your CV in a PDF that's just a top tip I would say um always not so great when you get it in Word and you feel like it might have been edited along the way. Um, I don't know, Renee, is there anything else you can maybe think of? Um, I think our favorite one is just to check for those spelling errors. Um, if you're gonna keep it short and sweet, make sure it's accurate because um, you know it's first impressions are very very important so um, really make sure that first impression is good and if you choose to do a picture um, I think you know we, we're not anti putting a picture on your CV we're not um, against you know we're not against it we're not for it but if you do choose to do a picture try keep the sunglasses off don't put your matric farewell dress in there um you know because you're certainly not going to be arriving into your interview and your matric farewell dress all glammed up with false eyelashes so try and just keep it simple professional a headshot above the shoulders we're very happy with so <laughs> i think every now and then we get some random photos so if you do choose to use a photograph just keep it simple and plain so that you represent yourself so i think those are key thanks ali Great. Thanks, ladies from our PKF office in Durban. If I could add just one thing that we usually also always get asked is, do you need a cover letter? Usually you don't need a cover letter. If you're applying for your traineeship, it's really not necessary to have a full page of telling us how awesome you are. We would like to see that when we invite you for an interview. So you don't necessarily need a cover letter. It would be great if you can do one little a paragraph or two little lines of who you are and say something in there that makes you stand out from the crowd. That's how we will remember you. Great. Renee, while I have you here, the very last questions, do we appoint foreigners? Ah, thanks, Marika. Um, so we are definitely not opposed to appointing foreigners, but it's very important, just like our values of integrity and clarity, it is very important that the individual that is applying has the relevant study permits and work permits to actually join us. And um, there's a lot of legalities to that. There is a lot of paperwork required. Um, and before we can commit to you as a firm, we need to make sure that all your paperwork is in line and that you are approved. So we are never not open to it. Um, we are very um, we're very willing to, to look at you as a, as a student and to join us in articles, but you just need to make sure you have all the relevant paperwork in place. So that's very important for us. Um, I did see on the questions there, Mareka, um, that someone asked about keeping their CV to one page. So just to reiterate, one or two pages at most is, is probably best. Great. And just uh, while we are on the topic of CVs again, thank you so much for answering that question, um, Renee. Another question from Nathan is, does past work experience have an influence on your application? Um, Bridget, are you there? Do you maybe want to answer this? Yes, Nathan, definitely. Um, I think it shows the fact that you 
able to go out there, sell yourself, be it your waiter, be it your salesperson, um, in a shop, be it whatever it is, au pair, uh, whatever it is that you have experience in tutoring, that actually does show that you take initiative, uh, which is very important. That's one of the things we look for. Um, that does show that you have interpersonal skills. That's also something important because you deal with clients, you're in teams. Um, so whatever kind of work experience is uh, very important to include on your CV. Great, thanks, Bridget. A lot of questions coming in terms of paralegal studies. So just to reiterate, at PKF in South Africa, um, we are an accounting and auditing firm. So we would like you to have either your PSYCA or your CYPA qualification. So that means your PGDA, PGDIP, or BCom um, in accounting. So that is what we have been talking about um, this morning. Okay. Great, so just before we answer the rest of the questions and running to the end of the year, how do you actually apply with us at PKF? So firstly, when you're putting your CV together, as we've, we've now spoken about CV tips and tricks, is merge your CV ID, full academic history and proof of your qualification and um, your, your registration into one PDF. So that means if your academic history includes five years of academic history, include all of that into one PDF, please, as well as your CV. And don't send your CV in Word, always in PDF, please. And please add all of the requests and documents. Otherwise, we go back and forth for ages trying to get the right documents from you. So please, when you apply, um, have all of the correct documentation in one PDF. And you can imply, apply um, on the next slide, I'll show you where you can apply directly to the specific firm, or you can apply on our web form on our website, which we'll also share in the chat, as well as on the SIGIA um, virtual fair chat as well. Here you go. Um, if you guys want to quickly screenshot this, it would be great. This is our all of our firm's direct contact details. So if you want to email them all of your details, your CV, ID, full academic history, um, and your, your registration for your current academic year, you can email it directly to any of these email addresses. Great, Did everybody get this? We will also share this um, on the chat on the virtual fair. Okie dokes, there is the link to our website, which we'll also share in the chat. And you can follow us on social media. On Facebook and Instagram, we are PKF Experience. That's where all the fun stuff happens. And on LinkedIn, PKF South Africa. That is our professional profile. Great, Q&A. Kelly, was there any questions we missed? I don't think so, Marika. <laughs> um, maybe we should open it up to everybody to see if they've got their own further questions. Great. Anybody who wants to unmute yourself, Renee? There's a, a very quick question, which we can answer as well. Yeah, right. so Marika, so just... oh yeah, sorry, I'm going to interrupt yeah. you. There, there's quite a few questions in terms of, there's a lot of people doing a lot of different studies. So maybe if you just want to go over exactly what qualification that they'll need, because we have a lot of people in the chat that have asked about the qualifications. So here is our qualification slide again. So at PKF, we are an accounting and auditing firm, and we would like you to, um, you can join us as a CYPA or PSYCA trainee. So that means you would either need for CYPA your BCom or BCom in accounting. And for PSYCA, which is usually your CA stream for most universities, your PGDA or PGDIP in accounting, or your CTA equivalent, which could be your honors in accounting. Okay. Great, Aniska. Hi, Marika. I saw a question there with regards to ACCA applicants. Mm -hmm. And yes, unfortunately, we haven't updated this network yet, but we recently did register with ACCA and we are happy looking at any CVs coming from ACCA members, guys. So please send those CVs if you have them ready. Great. Thank you, Aniska. And Corsi, your hand is up. You can go ahead. <coughs> Hello, can you hear me? Yes, hi. Hello, um, I just wanted to ask a question or two. Hmm. Um, in the beginning of your presentation, you yes. highlighted that at PKF, you look for certain individuals, certain employees or people you can 
worker PGF when doing interviews for soccer contracts, mm -hmm. how would how would um, perhaps a person who should who wants to be a PGF look like? What mentality? What uh, things should they be looking out for in terms of those interviews? Great question, Ngozi. Um, Ali and Renee, if you guys want to maybe jump in and answer that question, I yes. think it's a great question. More than happy to jump in here. Really, I think when you, you must remember that when we are interviewing someone, we are interviewing you with absolutely no experience. So we are interviewing you of who you are as an individual. So it's very, for, very important for us to just get a really good feel for who you are, get a very good feel for your family values, get a very good feel for your work ethic, um, with what your hopes and dreams are. You know, it's very important whenever we are interviewing somebody, um, the journey of a SAPA and a SACA clerk, you know, it, there's, it's hard work. There's a lot involved in it. Um, it's, it's not a journey, you know, to get to the top, you've got to climb a mountain. So we want to make sure that your dreams are aligned with that. You know what you're wanting to do with your life and that type of thing. So we're looking for somebody who's a little bit confident in themselves, knows what they want to do. Um, you know, if we are going to interview you and you sort of not really sure about where you want to be and what you want to do and what flavor ice cream you're going to eat tomorrow, then we, we, we're going to also then doubt you. So we really are just looking for somebody who's confident in themselves and confident in where they're going in their lives. So I think if, if that helps and guides you, um, and really just to be confident it's okay to be nervous we expect you to be nervous this is one of your very first interviews you will ever be doing we do not expect you to come with a big presentation and flash the lights out for us um, but we are just looking for somebody who ultimately is confident and knows what they want um, and where they want to go that I hope that helps Yes, and to add to Renee's answer, um, the actual interview, we will not ask you anything about your, your studies, like quickly do this, um, figure out this tax sum or anything like that. Oh, okay. We want to get to know you and we yes. want to be, it, it's very, a very personal conversation. We want to get a feel for you. Um, and if you, you can have questions really like, what do you, why accounting, why PKF? Mm -hmm. So do your research on PKF, um, why the specific firm? So why are you moving from Pretoria to Durban, for example? Why that specific move? And things like, where do you see yourself in five years after your articles? What would you like to do after your articles? Those, would, that, those questions would really give us um, an insight into you as an individual. Um, and then also just a few tips in terms of an interview, if it is in person or if it is um, like we are doing today online, look presentable, have correct lighting where you are, ensure that we can hear you, ensure that we can see you. So close the, the blinds behind you so we can be able to see your face you know, little things like that and be presentable. If you're coming to a physical interview, bring a copy of your CV. We will have a copy, but if we might have misplaced it, we expect you to have um, your CV. You know, we expect you to brush your teeth in the morning and look presentable and you don't necessarily have to wear a tie and a suit, but at least, you know, don't wear jeans. Just look at least professional because that is um, our, our, our firms, all of our firms are professional firms. I hope that helps, Uncle C. Okay, thank you, it does. And lastly, can I ask, um, do you offer VAC work? Yes, great question. So I can tell you a little bit about our VAC work. We are going live with VAC work in the next week and um, all the details about our VAC work program. So what our VAC work includes is um, we invite all of um, our, the universities across South Africa to join us for our VAC work between 11 and 15 July. It would be in the morning from 9 to 12. You would need to attend all five days, the Monday to the Friday. We have correlated with all of your university, um, either second opportunities in terms of exams, which most of you don't write because you have year subjects, as well as correlating with your first week or your last week of holiday. So you're going to steal a little bit of your time. And what the, our VAC work looks like is on the first day, you'll get to know PKF very much like we're speaking about now, as well as you'll speak to a trainee and a partner and what do they do in their day? How does a trainee, what does their day look like? How do they deal with clients? What sort of work do they do? And do a partner only sit there all day and read emails? Sorry, Keo, can you just, unmute, uh, just mute yourself? 
There we go. Thank you. Um, and day two will be a little bit more insight into everything that we offer at PKF, um, our tax department, um, our compliance department, how does it work, all of um, the services we have at PKF. And then for two full days, you'll have an audit simulation. So then you get to work with our tra training partners. Sorry, I just want to mute Kia here for a moment. Sorry, Kia, can you just mute yourself? Great, so then for on the Wednesday and the Thursday, you will have a full um, training simulation, get to know how what it would be like if you would be a trainee. And on the last day, CV tips and tricks, interview tips and tricks, and then speed interviews with your preferred firm. So that is what our virtual VAC Week program looks like. It is virtual, like we are speaking today. And it is geared toward third years and final years or your honors or CTA year. Okay, if you are interested in joining, um, if you are a first year or a second year, please, there will be an email address where you can email your application. Just check out um, our social media. We will send those um, details to you. Um, on, on share on social media. If you are first or second year, please still apply and mention that you are first or second year. We are in the works of doing a mini VAC work for our first and second years, but our full VAC week are five days, the 11th to the 15th of July, Monday to Friday, 9 to 12, will um, be geared towards third years and CTA equivalent years. Cool. I hope that answers your question. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Bridget, go ahead. Hi, Marika. We've just got a few questions. Uh, one has come up often, I think, from Hazel. Um, maybe Renee can assist. Um, do asylum seekers qualify for a traineeship? Hi, that's a very good question. Um, we actually have never had an asylum seeker um, apply for, or apply for articles with us. But if you have the relevant paperwork, what we would do is then just investigate with the Department of Labor um, that it's okay for us to employ. So if we are, are happy with the individual, obviously first we, we need to go through the normal interview process if that was the first hurdle. Then the second hurdle would just be to ensure that the correct paperwork is in place. Um, with any kind of asylum seeker or any foreigner, there is quite a lot of paperwork that's involved. There is time limits, number one, that we need to be um, be aware of or cognizance of so the person we just really need to ensure that there's the right time frames in place because this is a three-year contract is that um you know paperwork is that permit going to allow you the three the three years um the other thing is how many sureties what type of sureties are in are expected um and then uh you know obviously uh, for what you know what what is the expectation from yourselves and ourselves to ensure that that permit remains in place so um it can get very technical and that's why it's very important that when we do apply you've already got those applications either completed um and then we can manage it from that point of view we recently had someone that um was busy applying even when we sent through um a signed contract, it wasn't sufficient for them to secure it. So um, what we found is much easier to have it secured before you come across. Great, thank you, Renee. While I have you here, Renee, um, do we offer bursary opportunities? Um, well, I, I think my, I'm not, I can't speak for all the firms. Mm -hmm. um, it's not something that all the firms do offer. I think there are select firms, so it depends on which firm you're applying to. Um, I know at Durban we do offer partial bursaries, but and but we do not advertise that often. I'm not too sure if any of the other firms do offer. Um, Bridget, I don't know if Octagon do or you do at Marek in Cape Town, but we don't we don't offer full bursaries um, from our side. I see, Bridget, yeah. you were going to, yeah, Marika? Yeah, so from PKF in Cape Town, we are also the same stance as PKF in Durban. We don't offer full bursaries. We also, when it comes to bursaries, we look at the individual. Um, so you will go through the normal application process. And then once in the interview, once the um, conversation comes up about a bursary, we will take it there on an individual basis. So we still want you to apply. 
Um, and once you get that interview, we can have that conversation. While on the topic of interview and applying, usually um, this also differs from firm to firm, but usually you will be able, you will get a response after replying within about three to four weeks max um, after applying for your, um, then getting an interview. So you should know within a month um, after you have submitted your application, what your status is. Cool, Bridget, was there any other questions? I think I did see something about site uh, tax articles. Um, at this point with PKF Octagon, uh, Waverly in Johannesburg, we might, I cannot promise anything. I'm not quite sure who asked the question. I missed it now, Garabo. Um, we might have an opportunity. I'm not quite sure, I can't confirm at this point. So please do contact PKF Octagon. It's recruitment at pkfoctagon.com. And then just send through your documents, uh, your CV, your matric certificate, and for your full transcripts. For any of um, other uh, type of um, articles, please do send directly to the office, to the office where you want to apply. Um, and then we will be able to give you feedback on if it's a tax article or any um, other specific articles. Uh, yes, the last question came is, yes, we are uh, PKF in South Africa and we are auditors. So we do accounting and auditing services. Great. And then last question, uh, what type of interview questions do we get asked? So we covered this a little bit. Interview questions range from um, personal questions about you as an individual. Where do you see yourself going? Um, you know, what do you, what do, you um, do in your spare time, those types of things, family values, all of those things come up in your interview, as well as how did you hear about PKF, why this specific firm, and what is your aspirations when it comes to um, your career. And then usually we don't ask anything about your studies, like please um, work out what the tax would be for this year on this specific equation. We have no, none of those questions. Okie dokes. Anything else? Any other questions? All right, there was, sorry mm -hmm. for me interrupting. There were two, uh, a question about what is a partner and what, how does one become a partner? Oh, great question. Oh, I see the question. Correct. What is a partner and how do you become a partner? So a partner at PKF is um, usually it is after about 10 to 15 years working at the firm. It depends um, on firm to firm. It, in, it requires a lot of exams that you have to write, a lot of things that you have to check in terms of um, under our governing body, SICA and OBA. So it's differs from firm to firm. And if you actually want to be um, a partner at a firm, it um, does mean that you basically, in real terms, you are one of the bosses at the firm, which is quite cool. Um, and yeah, it takes quite a lot of time. We would obviously need you to, after your articles, be a manager at a the firm some of our firms have different tiers of managers senior managers junior managers um, and that takes um you will need to be a manager for quite some time a few years to be able to start the process of becoming a partner all right just to mention again that we are pkf south africa and we specialize in audits and accounting um, so you would need to have your cyper or psycho qualification to join us there was more questions about law and psychology we do not offer those all right cool guys if there's anything else you would like to ask us please ask us on the virtual fair chat um, we will be there today and tomorrow. Anything after that, these are our direct contact details, or you can contact us on social media. We are PKF Experience on Facebook and Instagram, or PKF South Africa on LinkedIn. Please contact us directly, and we can take the conversation from there. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today, and we will chat to you guys soon. Bye. Thanks, Marika. Bye. Bye.